एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल वर्ल्ड ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू एस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट गिट लैब पाइप लाइन ए सिंपल पाइप लाइन यूजिंग यामन ओके सो लेट मी क्रिएट वन न्यू प्रोजेक्ट हेयर ओके क्रिएट ए ब्लैंक प्रोजेक्ट गिव द नेम ऑफ योर प्रोजेक्ट लाइक टेस्टिंग फॉर यू टू ओके एंड हिट ऑन क्रिएट प्रोजेक्ट सो आवर प्रोजेक्ट गॉट क्रिएटेड नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू क्लिक ऑन इडिट क्लिक ऑन बे वाई डी ओके एंड हेयर लाइक हेयर वी हैव टू फर्स्ट गिव आवर लाइक पाइप लाइन नेम वॉट pipeline name will be like dot gitlab hyphen ci dot yml so i am going to create one separate full tutorial on gitlab so don't worry this is just a huge case of yaml i like i wanted to show you how useful yaml is and how we can like use yaml to create simple pipeline okay so <clears throat> so first we have to define our stage here okay so i am going to use multiple stages so i am going to use stages and after stages we have to like this is the key and this key will have object okay so press tab give hyphen in the form of list we have to pass the stages okay so stage what stage will be first build then test okay i am passing two stages here so first stage is build then uh, we are passing test stages okay so now we are going to define our build stages okay so first we are going to define our build stage okay so what we have to do like we have to define here image sorry image one to or i can take alpine okay and we have to define the stage here that will be build okay and we are going to run few commands okay so we are going to write a script and we are going to write multiple script so we have to use pipe then hit tab and write whatever command you want to run so i want to create okay build directory then i want to run ls then i want to run touch build okay sorry build dot txt okay then i want to do ls so what this uh, like pipeline will do so our pipeline have two stages first is build and what build list is is going to do like it is pulling image from alpine github uh, okay <clears throat> and stage is build and it's going to run few commands so this is the key and this key have list right i have shown you how we can write list in yaml right so this is the list of stages what stages we are going to use in our pipeline then we have to define the like our stages build and what image it will use that is alpine and stages we are referring to build and script we are going to run is this okay so just let me copy this and define 
test stage quickly sorry okay so we have to replace here test okay and test replace here test as well test so we are done okay now what we have to do we have to push this to get lab okay commit to main you are committing to your changes to the default branch you want to you want to continue it's asking for approval yes i want to continue so go here and click on build click on pipeline so our pipeline is not running let me see what happened mm -hmm. let me go to here first and testing for youtube and uh, go to build go to pipeline let me see why we think there currently no pipeline why it's saying there is no pipeline no changes may able to okay why it's showing to no pipeline so yeah we can see the pipeline here right just now it got created right so our pipeline got passed let's click on this pipeline id and see what is its our pipeline is doing okay click on build stas so first is run using the gitlab runner to run the pipeline okay then it's pulling the image alpine okay from the docker hub and what it's doing actually it's creating the build directory right and it's do, uh, doing ls okay it's creating uh, like build.txt file as well it's creating build directory first it's creating it's doing ls and we are getting readme file and build file okay then it's creating build.txt file and we are also able to see that right and our job job getting successfully executed okay let's go back and look at test stages what test stages is actually doing okay the like it's also using the gitlab runner it's pulling image from github okay uh like it's uh, also using alpine and it's also doing the same process what we have defined in our code okay you can see it right so that's it for this video i hope you found this video informative and helpful and now you are you are aware of how useful yaml is and how we can create gitlab pipeline so if you have any query then do let me know in the comment section thanks thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel do check out my other playlist as well see you in the next video